the biggest lesson that I learned um, and the thing that always stuck out with me the most is, uh, well, two principles, charity and faith. Um, you have to learn to love people in all sorts of circumstances, whether they just be, you know, a drunk on the side of the road <laughs> who needs some help or your companion that you might be going through a hard time with. Um, learning to love the way that the Savior would love us was so instrumental in every aspect that was part of my mission. I was so, so excited all the time. Um, and that's what you just have to do. I mean, there, there will be up and downs in your mission. There were plenty of times where I cried. And I know I'm, it's not common for a man to admit that. <laughs> but I had plenty of times where I was crying or my companion was having a hard time. So he was crying. And you just, once you learn how to love a person like Christ would, and it won't be perfect, um, it just opens up the world. Um, it opens up the spirit. You look at a person and really understand that they are your brother or sister. Um, and that you love them. Even those who won't necessarily commit to learning the gospel. And that helps you move forward with faith. Believing that you can do something will help you so much. I had one companion. He, uh, he was a greenie. I love the kid to death. His name was Elder Pearson. He lives up in Oregon. He's home now. He had the most faith I've ever seen in any missionary I ever served with. He was just always move forward, go forward. He pushed me so hard as a trainer. I felt like he was pushing me more than I was pushing him at times. He would never admitted that. Um, but the Thai people are so easy to love. The language is so easy to love. The culture is so easy to love. The food is really easy to love. Um, and it's just that Christ-like love that will really make the mission experience worth it. And it is worth it. All the time, all the effort, all the money, and all the energy. That stuff just becomes not important to you at all. As long as you learn to love. Um, and as long as you learn to just have fun. Be yourself out in the mission. Obviously, you need, you're a disciple of Jesus Christ and you wear his name badge. But he called you specifically out there. Um, and uh, people don't just call you elder. They call you elder and then your last name. You're still you, and I think that's a very important part, um, is to be yourself, but be constantly improving, love the people, and just move forward with faith.